Let's run a search for hospital-acquired infections. Notice that there are several recommended search terms as I type. When I search, I'm going to check full text, meaning I can read the article immediately, and peer-reviewed. You're required to use evidence-based research or academic literature. Peer-reviewed will save your life. You'll notice all of the search results here are from academic journals. If you're overwhelmed, notice this is just like online shopping. I can put in filters in the side menu, for example, date. I want to read the article. I just click the title to bring the article up. And you'll notice that here it brings up the full PDF. Detailed article information is at the top. So I'm highlighting the author and journal info if we need to cite this by hand. And the article title is the search result title. Luckily, there's a cite button, which will do most of the work for us. Know that these will get you about 90% of the way there, but you still have to double check this to make sure you're getting all the rules correct. You can also download the article or email it to yourself. If you're getting bad search results, the easiest thing you can do is change terms. So you'll notice I'm up in my jargon here. I'm now using nosocomial infections. And on the whole, my results have changed. You'll see a few familiar titles in there, but this made a difference in my search results. So know that you should always play around with your terms. Another thing you can do if your search result list is too broad is that you can go to advanced search. And this will bring up many options for you to select. So if we go down here, we see age group, we see source type, we see document type, we scroll up, we can check male or female. So that's another strategy that can help you out with your search results. Now I'm going to uncheck the peer reviewed box to see what that does to my search results list. And you'll see here my results have changed again. I have now books showing up in my search results list. Remember books, even academic books, are not considered peer-reviewed literature. I've got a ton of medical letters now showing up in my search results. You need to be aware of what you check and what that means. So for example, if I go back to my original search of a hospital-acquired infection, you'll see my search results will change to the again. You'll see, you know, more magazines. You'll see more of the trade literature. So while it's helpful, it's not necessarily that deep primary research. So when you search, it's important to know what you're looking for and what you need to check in order to get. Do you just want to look for primary research or you're just curious to see what's out there as a whole? And that will guide you in what you check and how you search. My favorite advanced feature of ProQuest Nursing and Allied Health is the ability to create search alerts. So you'll see now I'm in my account. This is free to set up through ProQuest. And I like the search, so I'm gonna create an alert. So I'll name it. And what this does is say, I'm following current news on something, or I know I have a research project due at the end of the semester. I can go ahead and set up a search alert now. So each week for the rest of the semester, I'll get any new references that pop up. And this will save me time and effort. So now I just need to worry about the reading and the citing. And basically, that is how you search nursing and allied health.